Good morning, guys. Today is another outdoor adventure. I still never posted the one about the interview. I may not post that one because it's not really that important. But this one's going to be experience. I'm not bringing my cat, ignore my dirty floor, this one to the vet. I'm bringing our other cat to the vet today because he's had some tail issues. So, y'all know what that means. Dressing like a human. <laughs> And then I also have to go get my working papers. I'm not gonna put on my phone because I'm thinking like a million noises from disconnecting, reconnecting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get my working papers and stuff like that. My hair is pretty wavy right now. Like wavy right now, there's spots. Also, I watched 365 Days yesterday. Worth all the hype. <laughs> like, someone dies. I'll tell you who, but like a person dies. <laughs> and he's like, I want you to teach me how to be gentle. And then when he teach you try like kind of tries, he's like, No, don't provoke me. And I'm like, why have I heard shit like this before? <laughs> ah, boys are wild. But yeah, I'm gonna get dressed like a human. And yeah. Alright, so I'm all dressed now. A little while ago I tried vlogging, but for some reason my phone didn't want to work. But here's my outfit. I'm wearing ripped jeans, my Nikes, and a Justice shirt. Bro, if you didn't have Justice clothing, you were lame. Um, but yeah, I was putting on my <laughs> bra earlier, and I punched myself in the jaw. Oh yeah, I didn't want to wear a hat. Let's decide what... Oh, I'm not gonna put that on my alarm clock. Should be here ticking. Let's see what hat I'm gonna wear. This is my desk, and I have a Superman hat. Really cool. And I'm gonna wear it backwards, but no. Ah, my Wonder Man hat won't go because it's red. Here we go, my dolphin's hat. Which is actually my father's, but. I took it from him. Or do I have a bandana? Because I might wear a bandana instead. I don't remember where any of my blue bandanas are, but I guess I'll just wear this. The color today is blue. But yeah. If you guys can't tell, I'm in the car and I want to check my heart rate because when I was driving, it went to 130. Okay, it went back down to 100. I had to do a toll. I've never had to do a toll before. And it was not helpful that I, put, first of all, was not prepared. So when I go back, I'm probably going to have my, oh, hey, doggy. I'm probably going to have my phone with my wallet out and ready. And then I really told because my backpack hit it. I <laughs> disconnected my phone, which had the GPS going. And unlike other places, like, yeah, let's say I was going to school, I would be fine. I like how you stopped meowing when I started vlogging. Thank you. You're a very good boy. Okay, so I'm here now. I <laughs> lost my shit. I said, Worf, I'm scared for the both of us. And I was really like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry yet. Like, hold those tears. And I'm risking wasting gas for this little man so he could have a C. And yeah, so I'm at the vet so now. It's currently 11.20, it's 11.19 right now, 11.20. His appointment's at 11.10 and I'm turning, and I'm constantly turning off my car and then turning it back on because I'm about halfway through my gas. And I don't want to have to risk like I'm gonna pull off of the highway because I've driven on a highway alone. And then like if I was with my mom, I'd be like, oh, "You're driving home. Like I don't want to risk it. Like she's a much more aggressive driver because she's been driving for plenty more years than I have." And this little man, when I don't think see on, I'm not like keeping like a hot car. I'm like opening my win. I'm opening my window a little bit because I don't like my window open all the way. But I'm opening his window almost all the way. I'm opening the sunroof a little bit. Like, there's, like, air coming in and out, so we're not sitting in a hot car, but, like, 
this woman's looking at me and I don't like it. But, um, yeah, so I don't know how much longer that's gonna last for him. We do have a much, we did have a robe in here, but if you can see, she, he has a right there where my finger's pointing, like that will be right there. He has a much thinner, like, washcloth we put in there because he used to have a thick robe, but like that. Is Nelly not keeping as much heat? This lady's staring at me while she's on her phone. <laughs> but, yeah. Ha! Okay. What's your idea, people? At the beginning, I wasn't able to put my finger in and be like, okay, like, yeah. But, um, my mom just texted me. It's like, no call yet. And I'm like, Okay. It's now currently 11.42. Um, I turned the car back on. My mom reassured me that sitting in here with the car running with the amount of gas that I have will last me a couple hours. Let's hope it does. Worf has now proceeded to move to the back of the carrier. Bubby! Here, Bubby. You okay? But yeah, let's see how this goes. Because one car left and another dog just went in. So I'm probably gonna be here until noon and all I brought to have is water. And there's nowhere to get food anywhere near here where I would be able to go. So I regret this. I was like, oh, we should bring a little snack. They're gonna give you treats. And all I have is a candy cane. Well, a mystery flavor candy cane. I didn't even have real breakfast. I just had a Pop Tart. Let's see how this and goes. At 11.46, they took him in. Oh, my arm hurts. <laughs> Ew, is that like a dead mosquito on my arm? Ew. Um, because I had to pick him up from over this and I was just like oh yeah walk around the car and grab him oh like my hands like all right in your take he's a big boy <laughs> but I went text my mom and tell her that they just took him in and yeah so I'm probably gonna do some TikToks I'm definitely gonna turn off my car because I'm a person I can live with the heat I'll have my things open Um, and yeah, like right now it doesn't feel that bad because of this little breeze, like you know. Aha! <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys later. Home wasn't that much better. I'm home now. And if you can't see, I'll show you better when I get out. They're doing work on my street, and of course, big trucks. And I pulled down the street and I couldn't tell from through the trees right over there. The, um, well, so I went to off my car, actually. Um, what was going on? And, oh. Um, there, talk to you guys while I'm putting stuff away. Um, I pulled down to my street and I saw, I texted my mom, like, okay, so I'm going down the street. Um, what should, how do you want to do this? The cat's alone in the car, by the way, she came, like, took him out to, like, he didn't have to go through that whole experience with me. Um, so, yeah, and she's like, okay, I'm gonna come and grab the cat, and then, basically, I'm gonna back down the street into the wrong side of the road, and she is going, and I'm, we're gonna switch spots. So I'm in my mom's spot, where she normally parks. Not in mine. Um, but, yeah, I did miss one turn. And then I missed another turn that was supposed to fix that turn. Missed both of them. But yeah, they said he was a very good boy. He's very handsome. And yeah, I don't know what else happened, but he's probably going to go hide. And yeah, so uh, let's get out so I can show you guys what is going on on my street. And I was just chilling, listening to Heath and Zane's podcast. 
But yeah, like that's going on. Do I have anything left in my car? Nope. Okay. Why did my car not lock? That is the forever question. Okay, it is locked. That was weird. All right, now I regret wearing jeans, but also I don't because, or else I'd be sticking to the car. Yeah, you can see the cats out um, of the cage. But yeah, I am home now. And I'm gonna eat. Oh, I also have to go to the pediatrician too. <sighs> Yay. I have to go to the pediatrician to get my working papers filled out. So I'll probably eat. And I'd say I probably shouldn't do that right now because I don't feel like making it an issue. We'll see. Right now. And I have to grab my backpack because I just realized I forgot my water bottle in my car. Luckily, the hydro flask wouldn't like get too hot, but you know, gotta get it out. Because I was getting to be thirsty, and I was walking back and forth to the from the fridge to where I was eating to just like take a swig of my um lemonade. Let's hope that locked. It doesn't really matter. I'm going back in in a second. But then I remembered. Oh wait, I have a hydro flask. So I think I'm going to eat a little bit more, and then around 1:30, I'm probably going to head over to the pediatrician to get my working papers filled out. So. Yeah, I need to get my shit together again and head over to the pediatrician. That did not rhyme and I am sorry for that. Should I go to the bathroom before I go? Yeah, I'm gonna put my stuff all together and then I'm gonna try to go to the bathroom. Cause we're not allowed to go inside. So I'm just gonna pee. So I did drink a lot of fluids and yeah. I went to the El Baño. I did have to go. Smart me. I've probably been on trips of me being like, oh, I have to pee. But like, thanks to school, I'm able to hold it for like 78 hours. Don't do that. But if your school is as disgusting as mine, what I would do is because like also people would come in and vape. But after school, the bathroom by the band room, only really the band kids would use it. So I would be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going. Like... I don't really care because no one, because we would, because those are locked, so we would be like, hey, can you like unlock this for us? And the teachers were like, yeah, sure. All right, so now time to go to the pediatrician, and then once I'm done with this, I'm gonna, hopefully it won't take an hour, and I'll be able to come home and then work out. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Have a good one. You Be too. well. That was a lot faster than expected. I got my working papers. Ooh, trying to get back in this car. I regret wearing jeans. I regret all my decisions. Ugh. Why do I keep going in the car first without my without to get my backpack? I've reached my people limit for today. I've talked on the phone too dang much. I typically never talk on the phone. But yeah, now I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna probably rest a little bit. It's like, cause I ate food and I can't work out on a full stomach or else I feel nauseous. But yeah. I've officially hit my people limit for today. Cause I have talked to what two people on the phone 
and three people in person. That's not including friends and family. I am officially done do talking to humans, so I'm gonna say, no you, stay out of my life. I just talked to the FedEx guy for my, because he was just stopped inside my house and because our house, we don't have a number on our door or a mailbox. So people, like food delivery people, we have to say like, yeah, we're at the end of the street. Like we can't give them an exact house number because they don't know what our house number is. Um, and yeah, apparently also my pediatric, their phones weren't working. So that was fun. They're like, are you for I wanted to bleep that out. I said the first one and they said, oh yeah, their phones aren't working. So there should be a person standing outside. And I was like, okay, cool. There was a person that stayed outside. She was a very nice girl. Um, and I was like, yeah, I had to figure out what to do with the, she's like, it's so hot. I'm like, yeah, I had to figure out what to do with a cat. 17 whole pounds of cat. He's a hefty boy. But, yeah, I would just hit my shin on my car. That was not fun. But yeah, now I'm home. So, I can take it a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's video. Ignore my makeup. I was just practicing for Saturday because I'm wanting to do a little vlog where I try to do like kind of more of an e-girl look because I want to dress like a human that day for some reason. Instead of wearing sweatpants, shorts, or leggings, I might wear a skirt. Who knows? I also will be adding on to my um, TikTok thing that I'm doing, where whenever I dress like a human, I do like a little, like, you know, thing. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. My Twitter is at sugarpoo019. My TikTok is at my tzakaley. My Instagram is mstuart underscore music. Don't forget to, I'm out of breath for some reason. Don't forget to comment down below if you ever had to drive a far distance to bring your pet to the vet. Um, don't forget to like the video if you enjoy animals being alive. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see whenever I post. And don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I post. And that's it for today. Remember to follow me on my social medias and like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell. And remember to always stay happy. He's smiling. Bye.